Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly reading session for you Leo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading is for you. This is a weekly reading session for the Leo friends out there. Thank you so much Leo for tuning in. Thank you so much for coming back. This is for you, all right? Before I start, thank you guys for supporting the channel, guest viewers. If you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, you know what to do. Follow me on Instagram. Check out my online store, the Setting Manifestation Candles. Um, they are already available. It's free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free reading from me. Type your question, type your manifestation, and I will get back to you. Check out our blog, www.sunshine-tv.com. We put a lot of new contents in there regarding astrology, what's coming towards 2021. So have a no see in our website. And what else? Check out, guys, the monthly, the December month, 2020 love in general reading it is available you might pick up more messages more intuitive messages messages in there so yeah have a look at it i'll put all the links down in the description box below if you're interested and if you are keen okay so let's start your reading so in today's reading we will be looking at the past energy past situation the current energy your energy your person's energy the connecting energy between the two of you the predictive outcome and advice and that's it. Okay, let's start the reading. In the past position, you've got the first card in the past, the moon card. Okay, you could be dealing with a cancer. Or this is something that happened 18 months ago, right? Nine months, January month, eight months ago, 18 months ago. Hopefully, it's not 18 years ago, but it might because I'm seeing those numbers in here. Um, there's a lot of holding back between the two of you, okay? You're mirroring each other. You're exactly the yin and the yang. There also, there's also an energy in here of black and white. When you want them, they don't want you. But when they want you, you don't want them, okay? You are... You, you really are like a soulmate connection. You can finish each other's sentence. You sometimes don't even need to talk by l looking at each other's eye. You would know the... You sense what they feel. You sense what they want. You, you Both of you are very intuitive, okay? This is a very intuitive connection. You guys are... The blend of your energy, it's, I'd say, perfect, okay? Um, it's a partnership. It is a partnership. It's built to last. If you follow, because the moon, the moon represents emotions, feelings, and intuition. If you and your person follow the emotions, the intuition, this is built to last. But the blockages is king of sword. You listen to ego. You listen to, you listen more on the mind. You listen on the ego. Um, it's very restricted. There is a playing hard to get. Um, there's mind game in here. And um, because of that, you know, eight of wands in reverse. So what took place with that? What took place with, was, you know, one of you, one of you, um, one of you, consulted or acted in a more egocentric ego pride um holding back um all about themselves, self-control and as a result eight of wands slowly the passion has died for some of you king of swords in reverse you had a fight you had a misunderstanding and it is difficult for you and this person to go back to this harmony okay because there was harmony in the past and you fight you separated you disconnect there was a misunderstanding and it tested the connection you tried they tried for some of you you're still trying up until now but you couldn't go back to this harmonious relationship 
where you can finish each other's sentence without talking, just looking at the eye. I know what you feel. I know what you want. Um, because of this, the King of Swords. And as a result, Eight of Wands in reverse. You lost the passion. You lost the desire. Something is lost in the process of the King of Swords energy in reverse activated. It's 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 getting less and less interesting. It's 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 you and your person disconnecting to the very core why you're attracted to one another because of the King of Swords in reverse. There's something that you and your person is holding against each other, holding against each other. You and your person is counting the many wrong he did or she did. And is not considering what was working in the past. And as a result, the desire, the interest, the passion, it's starting to slip away. Or it has slipped away. Because Eight of Wands in reverse is not putting an effort or desire. And... um. So in the current energy, right, in the present current energy, present situation, three of swords, you're in pain, you're hurt. For some of you, you felt like you've been betrayed. Um, there's a possibility of a third party in here because of the three of swords, because you guys are in harmony. Something happened. It has affected the harmony. You and this person is not putting more effort. To put back the harmony, maybe because this person, they have already looked for a relationship outside of your connection. That's why you could possibly feel this, three of swords, in the current energy. You're in pain, you're hurt because your person stopped putting an effort to fix it, to put back the harmony, the love, the emotion. Instead of fixing it, they move on and find another person. If there was no third party, a proof of a third party, it could be you felt you felt betrayed. You were betrayed. You know, this King of Swords energy in reverse. This is quite sharp. You know, King of Swords. This is a very masculine sword. It's it's um you know it, it's um it's a it's a very selfish person. No consideration at all. Could be you, it could be them, could be both of you, because as a result of this, you've got the eight of wands. Your person's energy is the king of wands. Yeah. Eight of wands, king of wands. They're losing interest. They're losing passion. It could be because both of you are holding back. The holding back, the ego, the pride, you know, the fact that you are holding pain, grudge, hurt, against your person this is your lover this is your love interest you are holding pain grudge hurt negative vibe against them if that's the case then it is you know building a wall towards someone you love it's 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 like pushing them away nine of wands there's passion but you're pushing or turning off the passion towards your person and you know um you're building a wall. I have a blog, Leo. Okay. I have a blog. It's really, really good. It's in, um, check the blog, www.sunshine-tv.com. Um, read that. It's really cool. It's related to this reading. Um, cause if you build a wall, then you are attracting or manifesting someone who's building a wall as well. So there's a lot of um yeah look at that look at that building a wall you, you built a wall and so they are it's not looking good currently it's not looking good leo all right it's not looking good it's not feeling good it is feeling indecisive because both of you you're operating in hurt and pain in something that you're kind of giving up okay because this is the connecting energy nine of wands all right in the predictive outcome, immediate future and advice, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. This is really interesting. Currently, you're very uh, guarded. But I really feel like with you, Leo, you don't sit so much in that grudge or pain or hurt. Eventually, you'll come out. I see you moving on or coming out of the wall that you built towards your person or towards love. 
you will be the first one who will come out of this wall, okay? Because you want an ace of pentacles. Because at the end of the day, we get hurt, we get betrayed, um, but we still want to love, you know, ace of pentacles. So in the immediate future, predictive outcome and advice, yep, you, you build a wall to, to protect you, to safeguard your heart, your feelings. But that that heartbreak that you felt, you know, it, it can be healed. It can be cured. And as soon as you feel safe, you will get out of this wall and you will roar like a lion. And you will play again with Cupid and love. That's why you've got the Ace of Pentacles in here. There's a possibility, Leo, that you have a new beginning. Okay? Ace of Pentacles. Because you are not guarded or you're not going to trap yourself into this wall. Because if you put a wall, it's difficult to get in there. It's difficult to get into your love, into your heart. You won't love if you build a wall. But I don't think you are staying in that wall. You are going to let yourself out of this misery, out of this wall. This misery, you won't stay long here. You want the Ace of Pentacles. You want a practical love. You want love. I see that. I see you being hurt, betrayed, but at the end of the day, you will love. You will love again. You've got an ace of pentacles in here. It could be the same person or it's a different person, but you will love. Definitely love again. Look at the last card. The world card. Your person. I'm getting too I'm getting too vibe in here. Um, there's new love, Leo, and also the person who is this king of wands in reverse, who you had some sort of unfinished business in the past, they will resurface, okay? And you would have competition. You have new love and a past person who would compete, who would buy for your attention. So I love it. I love that you will jump out of the wall to allow love again. Because you are aware. You are aware that it's not easy, this three of swords. It's not easy. But with, you know... With Ace of Pentacles and the World Card, I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, okay? So, I like your energy. I really love your energy, Leo. Um, you will sit in a bit of a healing, um, but you want healing, recuperating, rejuvenating. For some of you, you would hate this person. You would roar but you won't stay long in that negative vibe it, it's it's like a cycle you know it's like a natural cycle that you know when you're hurt when you're disappointed you cry you're scream you're gonna be angry but you will leave that all behind because of the ace of pentacles there's a window of opportunity for you love for you to love and you will love again ace of pentacles there's new love and as you you know disconnect from that um messy um un not so nice energy not so nice experience from love this is where your person comes back so there is someone in the past and a new love who would compete for you this is really good okay so um either way you're ready to love whether it's a new person or someone in the past you're both ready to love there's no more wall but currently it's still looking like there's this residual pain or hurt or negative vibe that's preventing you guys to love again or for you to be in love again or for you to try again, okay? To take that leap of faith with love, to try again. So thank you, Leo. It's a pleasure doing this reading to you guys. I will see you soon again. Check out the blog. Go to www.sunshine-tv.com. If it's not published today, check out this week. It's really good. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.